Hello, boys and girls. Juan Bobo here with a replay from Zerzhinsky and uh, Danny Boy. Found this replay at sc2replay.com, and I'm excited to talk about it. But first things first, I mean, this is a, an older version of StarCraft. I don't know if you guys loaded it up today, but you might have noticed patch 1.34. And, um, I mean, 1.33 was pretty big. Fix, like, warp gate, change archons. Like, I mean, I guess you could say it was a big deal. But this one fixed a bug where the Leagues and Ladders menu didn't show stuff correctly. So, like, total game changer. Definitely changing the game from how we knew it and I don't really know how it's gonna affect my play you know so a little nervous about that but you know that's what you get and uh, Danny boy right off the bat we can do some real offensive play you'll see he is um, well throwing down that barracks on 10 and it probably is gonna get another one because there's no reason to cut that 11th SCV unless you're gonna be ultra aggressive and there it is. All right, that is cool. That is definitely something I'm into, and I wonder if uh, Dizer is gonna is gonna react to this appropriately. In his base, we see we have, he has a uh, barracks in the refinery, so he's just doing a normal tech opening. His barracks went down on 12 supply. And for those of you who don't know, these numbers up here will often be uh, used to kind of just count. Um, when things go down because the counter goes up at pretty much an even pace and I don't think Dazzer Sinski Muffin is gonna see this although he should he should be looking at this uh, command center and realizing that it turned into an orbital before this barracks and it he has no idea about this hidden barracks up here I like this a lot oh this is not looking good for him though I wonder how he will react checking it he knows something's up you know what he's thinking? It's he's thinking it's either a fast expand or I'm missing a proxy barracks or something. So I wonder if he's gonna pop back in here to check. Meanwhile, Danny boy, it's just getting everything normal. Marines from his barracks hiding these ones very good in case some someone pops up in here. And um, yeah, it looks like Dzerzinski. Does not yet have a factory and has cut mining gas. Okay. It looks like, oh my gosh, look, he's saving up 400 minerals and is building a command center over here because he thinks Danny Boy over here is getting ready to expand as well. Oh, that's rough, man. You have a lot of Marines coming your way. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? It looks like nothing. Okay, he knows about it now. Loses that Marine. Not too great for him. Uh, throwing up another barracks and a bunker. There they are. Two bunkers going down. Um, if if Danny Boy goes up there right now, I don't see what Dzerzhinsky can do about it. I don't know what Red can do about it. Please go up there. Please go out there. Smart. Bringing all the SCVs. It's the only way he's going to win against this little bit of a micro battle. Uh, micro. Yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. Shoot him. Get him. Losing a lot of SCVs. How many harvesters? How many harvesters? Wow, you know what? They're at equal harvesters, even though Red had to pull all those SCVs to uh, make that safe. Of course, um, Orange had to cut those SCVs in the beginning. So that was good for Red, and he's getting this expansion up, but Red lost that mining time. You know, if everything goes to normal, they should be pretty much even. This expansion is going to get up about the same time as this floats over here, and they're on equal harvesters. So I like that play by Danny Boy. I wish he could have done a little bit more damage with it. Maybe continue. I mean, he doesn't really need these Marines right here. Not right now. So... I guess the play will go on. And I wonder how he's going to... Alright, that's normal. Never mind. Don't wonder anymore. It's right there. Bam! Factory. Going back to the protection tab. That way I can cheat and look. Alright, this uh, orbital command. Going over there. A scan from Dizzer Skin C and he sees no factory. I wonder if he'll push once he gets some tanks up. 
just because he'll have that tank advantage. Um, there will be a, some time before Dazer Stinsky gets any tanks. And it looks like he's not going to get any tanks at all. He's throwing up two more barracks and getting stim. That is interesting. He could salvage this bunker, but he, does, he already has some monies. Transferring some workers, getting the defense up on the... They're both doing the same thing. Danny Boy waiting a little bit longer to transfer workers. Maybe he doesn't like to. You know, while yes, it does make your minerals mine out faster to send, you know, half your workers down here or whatever, the mining time, or the minerals you lose with the mining time back there, sometimes the player decides it's not worth it. You know? And it's getting siege tanks and siege modes. Yeah. Looks like Danny Boy is going to be saturating this base just by with the new SCVs you'll come in. You'll see, you'll see that this um, rally point is set to these minerals. And a scan for Dizzer Skinsky. Does he see the tank? I wonder if he saw that tank, and I wonder if he knows about this factor. He doesn't. He does not know anything. What does Danny Boy know? Danny Boy also knows very little. But they, they all, they both are um, aware of their situations. Danny Boy may not know that this command center went down even earlier than his own. So, uh, I wonder if he'll push in expecting a little bit less and be a little surprised when he sees. Let's see what upgrades he's getting. No upgrades for Danny Boy. Meanwhile, these Marines already have stim and it looks like... Combat shield is on its way with two engineering bays. Oh, I love mass marines. That's what this looks like. Yeah. Yeah, this is sick. I mean, eventually you'll want some medevacs with this, but... Marine King Prime, anyone? Checking that back entrance. I wonder what he's looking for. Maybe another command center. Maybe that third expansion. And... Here comes the push. And he's got map control. He's got the watchtowers. I am really excited to see how Loser Skinski reacts. Oh, and he's moving out. This might could either be the worst or the best for him. Look at everyone. Oh my gosh, Seed your tanks! Seed your tanks! That is a... Oh, uh, that is... I mean, it's not terrible for Danny Boy, but... He would have definitely re preferred getting up here with a sieged tank. Ouch, that's... Quite a bummer. And you'll just be shelling away at these bunkers forever. Um, meanwhile, back at home, getting that starport, reactive starport up, breaking down these rocks. I expect to see a command, and command center, right there. And um, yeah, like I said, he'll just be shelling away, target firing the SCVs. That's smart. We get some damage out of this. Ooh, ooh, I don't like that. Losing Marines unnecessarily. But of course, you know, this this repairing SEV is draining money from red. Not very fast. So. You know, it's something. There's no reason not to put on pressure like this. I'd like it if he brought up this uh, these extra forces. I am getting texted right now. And I missed a battle. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Basically, he spread out his marines. He stemmed in. Took out the tank. Took out the rest of the SCVs. And he is fine. Meanwhile, go to the army tab. And... Danny Boy is significantly ahead after that. I mean, 71 to 90, 73 to 92 supply is a 20 supply difference. If my math could get better, um, but these 1-1 one -one upgrades are going to make a big difference when when um, Dizzer Skinski decides to engage. I like that he's breaking down these rocks. I wonder if he's going to float it all the way over there. I think it's a good idea. With Siege Tanks, Dizzer Skinsky over here can't really break him down. So I'd like to see this lift off, come over here, and morph into a planetary. But it looks like he's going over here. Hmm. Hmm. Get edgier. Of course, he hasn't seen any command center go down for red, even though it's right here. Um, so, it, okay, no, never mind. No, he's building, he is double expanding. That... That seems like a bit much, but, you know, then again, against mass marines, there's no reason not to. Marines can't break these tanks, so... So he sees this. I like this. I like this a lot. 
My Skinsky man is in trouble. No reason not to. He can he can contain him, force him to take this base, and it doesn't even matter because he's got one over here and one over here. I like it a lot from Danny Boy. Sim, teach your tanks. These Marines doing a decent job to clean it up. They are 1-1, one, one, while uh, Danny Boy has not gotten any upgrades yet. He has this engineering bay, but has not yet researched. And this is good. This These turrets, I mean, what can you do it with Mass Marine? You can drop. That is, the mobility is what is so important. <laughs> and Skin Scheme is saying, no! That is, that is too funny. Going over to Danny Boy's cam. I mean, this this is just a little desperate. Um, he knows that if he doesn't make something happen right now, he's going to be in trouble. But it really doesn't matter at this point. It really doesn't matter at this point. Tanks are just so strong against Marines. And he's got more than the amount of Marines that Red has. I mean, it, at this point, it is it would take a miracle for... Dizzer Skinsky to come back from this. What is he producing? I mean, even with these 2 2 upgrades, I would really like to see some upgrades from Danny Boy. He has the money for it. But that's just the way it is. Maybe sniping some medevacs with these Vikings, that would be good. But, I mean, Dizzer Skinsky really put no pressure on Danny Boy the whole game. Danny Boy moving these tanks to his expansion. Probably going to siege him up just, I mean, just to deal with whatever Skinsky Meister could throw at him because he's in such a great position right now. He can freely scout with these. Is he going to get 3 3? He doesn't really have the gas for it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong person. Yes, he does. Is he going to get 3 3? Doesn't really have the units to make it worth it, but I mean, I guess I should say it's not over and uh, make it a bit more interesting but these extra star ports possibly for some some quicker medevacs and then and then a push no real need to push at all I'd say just tech up build your siege tank lineup I mean actually you know what I would push I'd push there's nothing Sinsky Meister can do about it I wonder if these drops will be effective I'm really I'm you know what I, I want these drops to be effective I want them to take out the main and then even the natural because you know what I'm rooting for you I'm rooting for you Sinsky Meister because you get upgrades and mass marines